Did you know Mikey? Huh? Ah! What? Hmm. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh no, it's Spider-Man, but what happened to him? It looks like he got a little carried away and broke our window. Let's see what happened to him. Hey, Spider-Man, are you alive? Can you talk? He seems a little sick. He doesn't seem to be reacting. Mikey, we need to give him first aid right away. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything like that. But I found some bandages. I'm gonna bandage his wounds so he doesn't leak any fluids. I can't believe the Spider-Man himself is in our house. Except he smashed a little bit on our glass. Uh, Ita, I thought he was resistant to this kind of injury, but I guess he's not. I don't even know if he's alive. I'll be right back, JJ. I figured out something so we can get him to the hospital fast. Come on, Mikey. I think the spider's alive, but uh, did he pass out? That's probably it. I huh? found it! Hurry up and get him in here! We're going to the hospital now! Whoa! Where'd you get a chair like that? Did you steal it from someone? Stop asking stupid questions! The fate of a hero is being decided now! Even if I stole it, so what? Well, stealing is bad, isn't it? So you're committing a crime! JJ, we're in a special situation right now, and it's better to sacrifice the chair in exchange for Spider-Man's life. So we're saving him. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. I don't know why I decided to ask you such stupid questions. Mm-hmm. Is today a day off? <laughs> oh, oh my god. What? There's something wrong here. It's like no one can help us. Uh-oh. <laughs> that can't be right. What happened to them? It looks like the doctors are here. That's no hmm. good. Let's take matters into our own hands and help the spider ourselves. Huh? Who else but us? Mikey, are you sure we can do this? We don't have any medical knowledge. What's there to know? Just find a cure and help patch up the spider's wounds and he'll be as good as new. He's got great regeneration, so his body should be able to cope. But first we have to find the right potion. I don't really like that plan, but you're right. If we don't help him, who will? So we're gonna have to take that risk. Let's put him in his bunk so he can lie down and rest. Now, I found something here. Maybe it'll help him. Huh? Are you sure you're sure about what you're doing? It's not too late to come up with something new. Uh, come up with what? All the doctors, for some reason, they're lying there sick too, like they've passed out. We're the only hope. Okay, so what kind of potion did you just give him? <laughs> Ouch! Oh my god, what's he doing? Hey, Spider, stop it! He can't hear you. I think that potion must have messed with him somehow. And we're in trouble now! Mr. Spiderweb is so sticky it's impossible to get out of here! Mikey, pull out your sword and cut the web. It's the only way out of here. Phew, looks like that dude's calmed down. Is he even alive? We need to be more careful with him. I don't want us to make things worse for him. Uh, yeah, you're right. Then we need to find a potion that can definitely help him. Any ideas? Well, I don't know. A healing potion. It's gotta be around here somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, right. I forgot to tell you, but I saw something in the locker. What if it is? What can we do to help him? Well, go get it then. What is it that can help him? Uh, it's some kind of bucket of liquid. Let's see how his body reacts to it. Except I remember it was in the locker where we got our clothes. So I'll be right there. Well, watch. Just be very careful because we don't even know what it is. I brought this thing. It looks weird, but what if it's a healing potion? Well, there's only one way to find out. So come on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is he flying upwards? Did he come back to life or did we do something wrong again? Hmm, interesting to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, they're spiders. Mikey, what have you done? What about me? How was I supposed to know it would have this kind of effect? What are we supposed to do now? Are we supposed to exterminate these spiders? I don't know what to do with them. I guess we have to destroy them, don't we? We can't just stand by and watch them. What if we make things worse for the Spider-Man? Let's go outside and think about what else we can do to make things better. Well, Mikey, we still have to go back to the hospital because that's where everything is to help the Spider-Man. We can't just wait outside. Yeah, you're right. Every second counts so we can save him. I hope we can come up with something new. Let's do it this way, and here's my plan. So you're gonna stand here and wait for me. You're gonna go out there and beat up spiders all by yourself? Yes, Mikey. You're just gonna get in my way. So just stay here, and I'll call you when it's over. And then we'll come back and cure Spider-Man. Come on, JJ. Good luck to you. I believe in you. Or maybe you do need some help. Wow, you're doing great. Yeah, Mikey, I'm fine. So don't worry. I'll destroy all the spiders and we'll get back to treatment. In the meantime, think about what else we can come up with. Uh, I've already thought of something. What if we built something that could help the spider? Maybe some kind of chamber. 
Well, come on in here and tell me what you've got in mind. It's definitely safe now, which means Mikey and I can come up with a plan for how we can fix this whole situation. Hey, Mikey, did you think of something? Uh, JJ, look what I came up with. What if we built a chamber? What kind of chamber? You mean some kind of giant flask? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. A chamber where Spider-Man's powers can be restored and he can finally come to his senses. So it's like a healing chamber? And you think it'll work? Uh, why wouldn't it? Come on, follow me! We could build a chamber based on a cryo chamber, and then the Spider-Man's regenerative process would kick in and he'd regenerate much faster. How's that for an idea? I agree, but how do you know how to build this chamber? Where did you come up with this idea anyway? I remembered a similar experiment where a scientist restored another dude's powers, even though he was very badly damaged. Do I understand that your theory is based on accelerating the regeneration of the body by freezing it? Yes and no. It's not exactly freezing, but it's similar. Anyway, I found the blueprints on the table and it says it could restore his powers. You build the foundation for this chamber and put up the windows. I'll be right there. Hey, Mikey, I don't know how to build what you're asking me to build. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna find a recipe to build this chamber. You're gonna need all kinds of instrumentation schematics and the instruments themselves. So I don't get it. They're not in there anywhere. We have to build all these devices by hand. Uh, you just stand there and build the camera with the glass. I'm gonna look around for something. Okay, I hear you. So, JJ, how's it going? I see that I've set up the installation so we can start the process. Well, I've done everything you said I'd do. Except your program kept showing some kind of critical warning. Huh? Are we sure we're okay? Uh, yes, JJ. We did everything according to the schematics I found in the drawer. Now we just need to start the process and Spider-Man will regenerate his powers and he'll be a lot better. Hey, Mikey, are we sure we're not forgetting anything? Well, I guess so. I see all the wirings in place. All the gas cans are hooked up, so that means we're all set up and we can try and start the process? Uh, yeah, well, what else is there to look forward to? Or do you have any other questions? I just have a lot of doubts about whether we're doing the right thing right now. I have no idea what this is or how you even came up with it. We built everything according to the blueprints, so I'm sure it's gonna work out. Just don't think about the bad stuff. Whoa! It looks like we're starting a process. But there's this. What's wrong with him? Why does he look like he's been blown to pieces? Uh-oh! I think something's wrong and we did the wrong thing. We have to fix it. I forgot we need another chamber just like this one. Oh my god! It's okay. We'll just build it again and then the process will continue. What? You said we could do it. And how could we go wrong? Well, that's how it happened. It means we didn't do something right or... Well, how is that possible? Well, it's not the way we planned it. It's not normal. Yes, I agree with you. But it can still be fixed if we build the exact same chamber for a different purpose. I don't get it. Do we have to put someone else here? Oh! What? So, maybe you can tell me what you're up to now. Uh, well, look. We need another body to give the spider back its stability and a new body to support it. Huh? What? So we need to bring Villager here? Uh, it doesn't have to be him. We could bring in a zombie or a skeleton. Some kind of humanoid. God, I feel like some kind of mad scientist. I feel like we're doing horrible experiments on a spider. Uh, well, we wanted to help him. Well, we should do it. Yeah, but not the way we're doing it now. We're just doing whatever we can, but not exactly what he needs. Because you and I are stupid and we don't even know what we're doing. Okay, you stay here and I'll go get you a body. Like Mikey said, I need a humanoid. I know a place where there might be mutants like that. I just have to wait until it's dark when they come out to hunt. God, why do I do such horrible things? I feel like I'm doing something completely wrong. Stop! Yeah, there you are. I think that's what I'm looking for. It's a skeleton, and it looks exactly like a human, which makes it humanoid. Oops, I think he spotted me. Not a problem, I've got him now. Great. Now this body needs to be picked up and brought back to Mikey. I hope it works out well this time. Okay, I got the body. Now we just have to believe that we can rebuild Spider-Man. Because really, all Mikey and I are doing is, it's not even helping because we don't even have any medical knowledge. It feels like we're just making fun of a poor hero who doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Uh-oh, I see you brought a body. 
it's a skeleton? That's even better! Mikey, what do I have to do? Are you sure you know we're doing the right thing? Yeah, I read that if you put a body in here, Spider-Man can finally come to his senses and he'll be... He'll be just like he was before he was hurt! Great! Well, then I guess I'll just have to hope we're doing the right thing. Uh, yeah, we are! It's gonna be okay this time. So if you're ready, go ahead and run that camera. I'm gonna stand over here. And finally, Spider-Man will come to his senses and be exactly the same as he was before. I think something's going on, Mikey. JJ, this is how it's supposed to be. Now the entire body structure will be transferred uh -oh. to Spider-Man. Which means he'll be able to recover quickly and come to his senses. And look at this! We did it! Our hero survived! Awesome! Now we can finally talk to him. Find out what happened and how he ended up in our house. And maybe we can even be his helpers. Just think of me or you being the spider. Or even both. Well, hello, Spider-Man. How you doing? <laughs> hey, I don't get it. What is that thing? And why is he shooting at us? Spider-Man, you need to calm down. We didn't do anything to you. I think something happened to his head during the experiment. But right now we need to hide. He's not talking again, but he's alive. What's wrong with him this time? Mikey, what did we do wrong to make him act like that again? There must have been a disturbance in his brain, and I have a suspicion that the skeleton's consciousness has been transferred into the Spider-Man's body. Huh? So it's actually a skeleton in a hero's body, and we need to get inside his head to... Wait for it. Get inside Spider-Man's head? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, it's not nonsense. Because we can't defeat him, he's too strong. But we can get inside his head to neutralize the so-called virus in his head. What happens if we don't succeed? Well, then either the spider disappears and is gone, or, or he'll stay that monster forever. Oh, no. Well, then we have to save him. What's that in your hand? Uh, it's to put him to sleep for a long time. Now we have to knock him out without being seen. We only have one chance, and I'm trusting you, JJ. Come on, buddy. You can do it with one punch to the head and he's on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. So what do we do then? Do we just jump into his head? Yes, using the ender pearls. I put a couple of them in your robe. So go ahead and do what I did. And what do we do in his head? We need to find the virus and destroy it? But what does the virus look like? I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Oh my god. I'm just shocked at what's happening right now. Hey, JJ, look at this. I think this is the virus that made Spider-Man violent. Oh, that's what it is. I'm going to show this monster. Well, let's destroy it. Why are we standing here waiting? I'm sorry about the skeleton, but you've caused too much trouble. I'm going to have to destroy you. Well, that's good. Now I have to access this computer. I have to clean out the spider's brain so it will work properly. Hey, Mikey, I see some green tissue around his brain. I don't think that's healthy, do you? Oh, uh, yeah! You're doing the right thing! Let's destroy those pieces of brain. They're already damaged and not functioning anyway. What do we do then? How do we rebuild his brain? You're putting in new tissue. Good for you! Keep it up! I told you he has incredible regeneration, which means the body will repair itself. Did you find anything useful on the computer? What are you looking at? Spider-Man's body control panel. The skeleton was trying to do something here and... So, yeah, I'm running the purge now. And it turns out Spider-Man's gonna be fine. So he'll be like a new person? Wait, what about his powers? Will he still have them? Uh, I don't know about that. Either we turn him into a calm person or we leave him a monster. No choice without a choice. I did it. What do we do now? I've said all the processes too, and his body seems to be normal. Now we have to get out of here. That's it? Spider-Man's alive, and we saved him, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. Oh, hmm. Whoa, all right. Hey, Spider-Man, come on, wake up. Are you sure he can hear us? And he's actually passed out. Ah, my head. Oh, my God, what happened? Hey, who the hell are you guys? What are you doing here? <laughs> we saved your life after you flew into our house and broke the windows. How did that happen? Ah, my powers were gone, unfortunately, and that's why I flew into your house. Uh, wait, how is that possible? You're supposed to... I don't know how this happened, and I don't know what to do next. I can't even climb this building. Okay, we're gonna help you, so don't worry, buddy. We've got an idea, actually. Hey, Mikey, I don't get it. How 
how can we give him his powers back? I don't know that for sure. Follow me. Remember that spider den near our house? I saw a special spider there. It must be radiated, which means he can probably make that dude a hero again. Whoa, Mikey. That's quite a plan you came up with. I didn't even think it could work. Listen, you really think a spider bite's gonna make him like he used to be? Mikey, go get him. I think he's running out. I'm already here. Great. Now we have the spider, which means we can put it back where it belongs and bite that dude so he can be a hero again. Well, I hope your plan actually helps him do that. Hey, you're about to get bitten by a spider and get your powers back. At least that's the plan. Ah, that's a bite. Just like the first time. Whoa, guys. That's exactly what I needed. I feel energized. I feel like my powers are back and like I can do something more than before, but I don't even know what. Thank you so much for what you've done to me. I'll never forget it. Yeah, no problem. Next time, don't come through our window again. Better knock on doors. Good luck to you guys and all the best. I'll be back for sure.